Texas is one of the 50 states in the United States. When looking at the map, we can see that this region shares an international border with Mexico to the southwest, and within the U.S., Texas borders New Mexico to the west, Oklahoma to the north, Arkansas to the northeast, and Louisiana to the east. Texas also has a coastline along the Gulf of Mexico to the southeast. Since the 20th century, Texas has invested in developing a diverse economy and high-tech industries, particularly after the discovery of massive oil fields. It quickly became a leading state in various economic sectors, including agriculture, petrochemicals, energy, information technology, aerospace, and biomedical sciences. Texas has consistently been a top exporter since 2002 and remains one of the most economically developed states in the U.S., ranking second in terms of GDP, following California. Moreover, Texas is home to a vibrant Vietnamese community, one of the largest among the U.S. states. Texas is a former independent nation. During the period from 1836 to 1845, Texas existed as an independent nation with sovereignty, known as the Republic of Texas, and was recognized for its Lone Star State moniker, symbolized by a lone star on its flag. Initially declaring sovereignty over a vast land area of 1,007,935 square kilometers, including present-day Texas and parts of New Mexico, Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, and Wyoming, Texas faced border disputes with Mexico. The official annexation into the United States on December 29, 1845, led to the severing of diplomatic ties between the U.S. and Mexico, sparking the U.S.-Mexican War in 1846. Following a series of negotiations, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo concluded the two-year war, resulting in Mexico ceding territories to Texas and establishing the Rio Grande as the border. Texas retained its unique identity and by 1950, a compromise was reached, where Texas ceded some land claims, now part of Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, New Mexico, and Wyoming. Texas, with an area of 695,660 square kilometers, remains the second largest U.S. state in both size and population, following Alaska. Cowboys, symbols of the American West. For centuries, horses have been integral to the lives of Texans, contributing to the iconic image of cowboys herding cattle across vast prairies, skillfully riding horses and dual-wielding pistols. The American West, traditionally encompassing states closest to the U.S. western border, has witnessed a shifting frontier. The cowboy, synonymous with Texas, embodies resilience and courage, facing dangers such as bandits, bounty hunters, and Native American threats. While the romanticized image of cowboys differs from reality, these individuals demonstrate tenacity, readiness to confront hardships, and a spirit of exploration. Leading oil-producing state in the U.S. As of 2022, Texas boasts a GDP of $2.356 trillion, ranking second among the 50 states and averaging a GDP per capita of $78,457. To achieve this, Texas diversifies its economy across agriculture, industry, information technology, tourism services, finance, and construction. Notably, the oil and gas industry plays a pivotal role, contributing to 10.3 million jobs and 8% of the nation's GDP in 2021, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. Texas. A unique electricity grid. Texas possesses its own electricity grid, distinct from the eastern and western U.S. grids. In 2022, Texas generated over 12% of the national electricity output, exceeding 509.1 billion kilowatt-hours. While this self-sufficiency provides advantages, it also presents challenges, as demonstrated in February 2021. Severe weather and snowstorms led to an increased demand for heating, surpassing Texas's capacity to supply electricity. Widespread power outages occurred, prompting discussions on the need for infrastructure improvements and greater resilience against extreme weather events. Given its leading position in the energy sector, especially in electricity, Texas witnessed the consolidation of numerous small electric companies in the early 20th century. This consolidation aimed to create a larger company with the ambition of self-sufficiency in power generation, reducing dependence on the national power grid. While some states found the idea intriguing, they acknowledged that their energy sector scale couldn't match Texas. Furthermore, Texas's advantage lay in its two time zones, allowing certain areas to experience peak energy demand an hour later than others. This temporal offset facilitated more efficient energy production and distribution. However, the Texas power grid faced vulnerabilities in February 2021 when a sudden drop in temperature and snowstorm significantly increased the demand for heating. 
This surge surpassed Texas's electricity supply capacity, leading to widespread power outages lasting for days. The root cause of this crisis was traced to the fact that the majority of Texas's electricity came from gas-fired plants and wind turbines. Unfortunately, these systems were ill-prepared for extreme and abrupt weather conditions, resulting in operational disruptions. To address this issue, Texas needs to diversify its energy sources and enhance the resilience of its power infrastructure. Legislation passed in June 2021 mandates power producers to improve their systems to withstand more frequent and severe weather events. Three of the largest U.S. cities. Texas, being an economic powerhouse in the U.S. and North America, boasts three cities among the top ten largest in the country, Houston, San Antonio, and Dallas. Houston, often referred to as the Space City, covers an area of 1,600 square kilometers and has a population of over 2.3 million. Named after the former military leader Sam Houston, the city gained historical significance in 1836 during the Battle of San Jacinto, a pivotal moment in the Texas Revolution. Today, Houston attracts tourists with its unique blend of 19th-century architecture and modern skyscrapers. It is recognized as one of the most livable cities in the U.S., combining economic prosperity comparable to New York or San Francisco with a harmonious lifestyle and the distinct Southern U.S. culture. San Antonio, also known as the River City, spans approximately 1,307 square kilometers, with a population exceeding 1.4 million. Ranked as the seventh most populous city in the U.S., San Antonio serves as a cultural gateway to the southwestern U.S. rich in history and culture. The city boasts numerous museums, historical sites, and wild nature reserves. San Antonio's picturesque river walk along the San Antonio River adds to its charm, making it a popular destination for tourists and architects alike. Dallas, recognized as the most vibrant city in Texas, stretches along the Trinity River, covering an area of 999.2 square kilometers and hosting over 1.3 million residents. Despite the world-shaking event of President John F. Kennedy's assassination in 1963, Dallas retained its allure, becoming one of the most developed cities in the U.S. positioned as a major economic hub in the 12-county region. Dallas combines a rich ecosystem with iconic architecture, making it an ideal tourist destination. It is ranked 15th in the U.S. news list of the 100 best places to live in the U.S. Fastest speed limit in the U.S. Texas is renowned for its wide open spaces and high speed limits. While the standard maximum speed limit on most U.S. highways is around 120 km per hour, Texas stands out by allowing speeds of up to 137 km per hour. One notable example is State Highway 130, SH 130, a 131 mile, 211 km toll road stretching from San Antonio to Georgetown. It was constructed in 1985 to alleviate traffic congestion on Interstate 35. A 41-mile, 66 km, toll section between SH-45 and I-10 allows a maximum speed of 85 miles per hour, 137 km per hour, making it the highest posted speed limit in North America. The high speed limit on Shish 130 aims to improve transportation efficiency, especially considering the economic toll of traffic congestion on Interstate 35. Natural Wonders of Texas Beyond its cowboy culture and oil-driven economy, Texas is home to a variety of natural wonders. From majestic mountain landscapes to vast canyons and pristine beaches, the Lone Star State offers a diverse array of breathtaking sights, such as Palo Duro Canyon. Palo Duro Canyon, the second-largest canyon in the U.S. after the Grand Canyon, is a geological marvel with a history spanning millions of years. Stretching approximately 190 kilometers in length, with an average width of 9.7 kilometers and a maximum depth exceeding 300 meters, Palo Duro Canyon features diverse landscapes, including marshes, streams, and grasslands. Known for its vibrant colors and soil layers shaped by erosion, the canyon provides opportunities for long hikes, stream bathing, mountain climbing, camping, fishing, and even horse racing events. In conclusion, Texas, with its economic prowess, cultural richness, high-speed roadways, and natural wonders, stands as a multifaceted state, offering a blend of history, innovation, and natural beauty. Next is Big Bend National Park. This is one of the most beautiful and largest national parks in the United States, covering an area of over 3,100 square kilometers. It is located in the southwest of Texas, bordering Mexico. Big Bend National Park is named after the largest bend in the Rio Grande and is known for its pristine and diverse natural landscapes. 
The area features tall mountain ranges, deep valleys, tropical forests, deserts, and shrublands. It is also home to numerous unique and rare species of flora and fauna, including over 1,200 plant species, more than 450 bird species, 56 reptile species, and 75 mammal species. Next is Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Situated in the western part of Texas, it covers an area of approximately 350 square kilometers, including a portion of the Guadalupe Mountains. This park is home to the highest point in the state, Guadalupe Peak, standing at 2,667 meters above sea level. Following that is Caddo Lake. This freshwater lake is located in northeast Texas, on the border with Louisiana. With an area of about 105 square kilometers, Caddo Lake is known for its unique natural beauty and rich ecosystem, featuring diverse plant life, lush vegetation, and a variety of wildlife. Nature enthusiasts can immerse themselves in the scenery of marshes adorned with bald cypress trees and surrounded by moss-covered water. The surrounding area also preserves significant historical architecture and sites of the Caddo people, an indigenous tribe that once inhabited the region. The region is no stranger to the most devastating natural disasters in the United States. Texas ranks second to Florida in the average number of hurricanes per year, receiving about three hurricanes annually. The most powerful hurricane recorded in Texas history is the Galveston Hurricane. Before making landfall in the city of Galveston, it struck the province of Santiago de Cuba in Cuba on September 3, 1900. By the time it reached the Gulf of Mexico on September 6, 1900, it had intensified into a raging storm. By the evening of September 8, its intensity had reached its peak, classified as a Category 4 hurricane with sustained winds of up to 235 km per hour. Subsequently, it made landfall and nearly destroyed the city of Galveston, causing the loss of 6,000 to 12,000 lives and extensive damage to over 7,000 buildings, including 3,600 completely destroyed homes. The total damage was around $20 million, equivalent to $728 million in 2023. This had a significant impact on the economy of the city and the surrounding area. Texas is the state with the loosest gun ownership laws in the United States. The country has long been known for its gun ownership laws, allowing civilians to legally own firearms quite comfortably. According to 2022 statistics, approximately 45% of households in the country own at least one gun, totaling around 393 million firearms. This equates to about 120.5 guns per 100 people, a number higher than any other country in the world. Specifically, Texas has the loosest gun ownership laws compared to California, where gun control is considered the strictest in the country. Since September 2021, with over 100 laws in place, Texas allows carrying weapons without a valid permit. This has led to a significant increase in the number of people carrying firearms, 